I'm Florence Forche, and as a social worker, I was into, interested in mental health. I became director of the Deswains Valley Community Center, which became Pillars in working in the domestic violence movement. We've come a long way, and I'm so glad now that the community is sensitive to the fact that people are being abused, and there's services for both the abuser and for the victim. My name is Lupita Pinzon, and I've been with Pillars for six years. I would come off as a happy person and very outgoing, very driven, but my disability put me through so much, a lot of trauma, and I didn't want anybody to see my weak side. I was going to college, I was working, and I was just trying to prove myself to the world and fell into depression because of stress about everything in general, and thankfully I found Pillars and they've been an amazing resource for me to get my mental health back on track. My name is Roger Ingram. Hi, I'm Victoria Clark and I use Pillars Community Health. Well, I first went to uh, Pillars Community Health because I had a foot infection which turned into a, a MRSA infection. I called them up, they got them in that day. They said, yes, this sounds serious, let's get it taken care of. They truly seemed to care and got great physician's assistant, nurse practitioners, the nurses, the people who answer the phone. Everybody is just awesome. We have a lot of trust and faith with them and how well they do their job and they've been our primary health care provider ever since. My name is Sarah Makuda and I'm a former board member of Pillars Community Health. My mother suffered from mental illness when I was growing up. She was depressed and has been, had been hospitalized several times. And so I thought that maybe this was a really good way to pay it forward. Whenever I go and if I need something, everybody's just really good to me. They have helped me regain my life. Pillars Community Health is like my army. Now I don't have anybody to tell me no, because I know they have my back. Many people do not have the financial security to be able to go to private doctors or psychiatrists. When we first started using them, um, money was really tight. And the sliding scale that Pillars Community Health has made it affordable for us to actually get the health care that we needed. <laughs> it was important for donations to continue without that it would be really hard for agencies to provide resources that they have to be able to help the people who come in and ask for help. The, the thing that's been so overwhelming and so, so cool to watch over these years is just how many people that we can reach in, in, in so many ways. I stayed involved in the 30 years because I wanted to make sure that Pillars Community Health was there for the people that needed it when they needed it. It just makes so much more sense for a person to be able to um, be taken care of from the mental to the physical. Just knowing the people that have been involved and knowing the people that are involved, I have complete faith that it's just going to make it successful for the future. I think it's a real testimony to an agency that can survive 100 years. Whatever dime we have from our donors and our funders is used to make someone better. We would not have gotten there had it not been for the many donors uh, and volunteers and local government officials that have helped. Pillars Community Health has planted the roots to be able to be here for the next 100 years. Because of you. Because of you. Because of you. Because of you.